back to Race Recap. My name is Jackson. This past weekend, we had all three series racing on the super speedway of Talladega. And I will say before we begin, this was a very interesting weekend as far as winners go. So we'll start out with the truck series. They, of course, at Talladega, 94 laps. The first caution was the stage one winner, Ben Rhodes. The second caution was when the 28 of Brian Doza spun around, got loose exit in turn number two, and hit the inside wall hard, ending his day. The third caution was the stage two winner of Sheldon Creed. The fourth caution was a red flag. It was the big one. It all started entering turn number three, just exiting the back straightaway. The 16 of Austin Hill got a bump from the 38 of Todd Gill, and Hill could not handle the push. He slid up the track into the side of the 21 of Zane Smith, playoff driver, and they both ended up nosing it into the outside wall, slid back down the track, collecting others. Johnny Sauter hit into the side of Austin Hill, along with the 34 of Dylan Lupton and the 45 of Lawless Allen. The 15 of Tanner Gray got clipped up and into the outside wall. The 22 of Austin Wayne Self spun down to avoid was a 0 2 of Chris Wright. And when Zane Smith came back down the track, he was nailed by the 51 of Drew Dollar and the 18 of Chandler Smith, another playoff driver. Back behind the 26 of Tyler Anker made some contact with the 19 of Derek Krause and they went spinning through the grass. The 1 of Haley Deegan also went around to avoid, and so did the 75 of Parker Kligerman, who was then hit hard by the 10 of Jennifer Jokob. And then after they got that all cleaned up, they still were wrecking. The fifth caution was more playoff drivers involved. Sheldon Creed was about to uh, put Grant Infinger in the middle and take the high line around him. Grant Infinger did not want this. He tried to block the run, but he was hit by the two of Sheldon Creed and spun down the track right into the path of the 11 of Clay Greenfield and the one of Haley Deegan, taking them both out. And when he came down the track, he just barely clipped playoff driver Stuart Friesen in the 52, who then nosed it into the outside wall, ending his day. And the 42 of Carson Hutzvar nosed it into the inside wall, trying to avoid, and that did end his day. Another playoff driver. And then the sixth caution was brought out with just two laps to go, almost coming to the white flag. This did send him the overtime. It was the leader, of, or second place at that time, about to take the lead, the 23 of Chase Purdy, battling it out, and he had some contact from behind and spun down through the infield. And they went to overtime, and it was a very dramatic finish. So, they made it back to the white flag, which means the next flag would end the race. And, exiting turn number four, they were three wide in the middle of the pack. Ben Rhodes had some contact with the 32 of Brett Holmes. They both ended up into the outside wall. Ben Rhodes is a playoff driver, but it was the last lap, so not that much of an impact. He collected playoff driver Sheldon Creed in the two, and the 88 of Matt Crafton both into the outside wall as well, along with the nine of Cody Roball. And, as you see here... It was just like Bristol a few weeks ago. The leaders spun across the white to a checkered flag. They were going through the tryover. Todd Gillum was leading it. Second place was John Hunter Nemechek. Third place was Tate Fogelman. And Tyler Hill was fourth at this time. They were all single file, but Todd Gillum went high and the rest of the pack went low. They went around Todd Gillum now. It was just three cars, or three trucks actually you could say, up front. John Hunter Nemechek got a bump from behind from Tate Fogelman. A little more of a bump because Tate Fogelman wanted the win. And John Hunter Nemechek went spinning through the grass. Tate Fogelman spun across the line with the 56 of Tyler Hill. And Tate Fogelman got his first career truck series win at Talladega. So the top 10 here were Tate Fogelman sliding across the line with Tyler Hill. Todd Gillum was third. Then John Hunter Nemechek, Ryan Truex, Corey Roper, Spencer Boyd, Danny Bone, Chase Purdy, and Keith McGee run out top 10. Lots of DNFs in this race. Cody Robaw was out for the accident along with Grant Enfinger. Stuart Friesen was out for the damaged vehicle policy. Clay Greenfield was out for the accident, along with Haley Deegan, Carson Hotsvar, Dylan Lupton, Jason M. White was out for the damaged vehicle policy, had some damage from an on track incident. And also out for the damaged vehicle policy was Tyler Ankrum. Austin Wayne Self had electrical issues. Johnny Sauter was out for the accident, along with Jennifer Jo Cobb, Austin Hill, Zane Smith, Tanner Gray, Drew Dollar, Chris Wright, Parker Kligerman, Wallace Allen, and Brian Doza and Jack Wood in 24 truck had engine difficulties. So later that day, it was the Xfinity Series at Talladega. They ran 113 laps. The first caution was a red flag actually brought out on the last lap of stage number one. And during turn number three, tricky place this weekend at Talladega. And there was a bump. They were four wide, but Brett Moffat made some contact with the aid of Sam Mayer. And Mayer nosed it into the outside wall, along with the 16 of A.J. Almdinger, who is a playoff driver. And that did take him to the end of stage one, which went to John Hunter Nemechek. The second caution, they went all the way to the end of stage two, which went to the 23 of Blaine Perkins. Then the third caution was brought out when the 15 of Bailey Curry stopped on pit road. 
The fourth caution was another red flag, the second of the day. It was a pretty big crash up front. The nine of Noah Gregson got clipped from the spinning zero two of Brett Moffat. Gregson nosed it hard into the outside wall and was immediately hit by the two of Myatt Snyder, both playoff drivers right there. And then Gregson actually spun back down the track and was hit two more times by the 90 of Cesar Baccarella and the sliding Santino Ferrucci in the 26th, and actually a third time later on by the 74 of C.J. McLaughlin in this wreck. Also, up into the wall was the zero of Jeffrey Earnhardt, and back behind the spinning was the 78 of Mason Massey, and he was clipped by the six of Ryan Vargas. Then the fifth and final caution was brought out when the 20 of Harrison Burton was in the middle of three wide. He got a push on his quarter panel, and the car did not like that, and it spun right around up into the outside wall with the 98 of Riley Herbst, both playoff drivers. Then back behind this, or right back behind this, the 54 of John Henry Imachek spun to avoid with the 92 of Josh Williams and the 36 of Alex LeBay. Brett Moffitt got clipped somewhere in there and was hit hard into the outside wall, ended his day. And the 66 of Jason White, not Jason M. White, just Jason White, ended up into the outside wall hard. And actually, the race was called with seven laps to go because there are no lights at Talladega, so the race ended due to darkness. And that meant the checker flags went to the 68 of Brandon Brown, his first career win at Talladega. So the top ten here were Brandon Brown, Brandon Jones, Justin Allgaier, Daniel Hemrick, Jordan Anderson, Justin Haley, Jeb Burton, Austin Cedric, Josh Berry, and Joe Graff Jr. round out top ten. Lots of DNFs in this race. Harrison Burton was out for the accident. Along with Brett Moffitt, Riley Herbst, Jason White, Jeffrey Earnhardt, Noah Gregson, Myatt Snyder, Cesar Baccarella, Ryan Vargas, CJ McLaughlin, and Mason Massey. Bailey Curry had drive shaft issues. Landon Castle had engine difficulties. Sam Mayer and AJ Allmendinger both out for that accident. And David Starr in a 61 also had engine difficulties. So the next day, it was the Cup Series at Talladega. 188 laps. 188 laps. And the first caution was competition caution. Actually, they didn't start till Monday because of rain on Sunday, so they went going on Monday. And then the second caution was brought out later on in this race. It was all started when the 77 of Justin Allgaier got a bump from behind that he could not handle, and he slid up the track into the side of the five of Kyle Larson. And then coming back down the track was Allgaier, and he barely clipped the 14 of Chase Briscoe, and the 37 of Ryan Priest spun down to avoid. And that did take him to the end of stage one, which went to the 17 of Chris Buescher. Then the third caution was on that restart in entering stage two. It was the five. Kyle Larson had some damage from that previous accident and brushed the outside wall and left debris on track. And then during this caution, it started to rain again at Talladega, so they red flagged the race. But they were able to continue later on, just a few hours later. And there was a fourth accident right here, pretty big one right here. I guess you call it the big one. It all started, the 48 of Alex Bowman was up front, got hit from behind, and he spun up hard into the outside wall, collected the 42 of Ross Chastain, and the 8 of Tyler Reddick, spinning two teammates, Joe, Gra uh, Joe Gibbs' teammates, the 19 of Martin Truex Jr., had no contact when he spun, but Kyle Busch, when he spun, was hit in the side with a double zero of Quinn Half. Both were able to continue, though, and the 78 of BJ McLeod also spun to avoid. And the fifth and final caution was brought out, uh, actually, there was rain in the area, so all drivers knew if they were going to win this race, they needed to get up to the front now because the race could be called at any minute. So during the aggression, the 37 of Ryan Priest went spinning up into the outside wall, came back down the track, and clipped the 21 of Matt Benedetto and the 24 of William Byron, sending them both into the outside wall, ending all three of their days. And yes, during this caution, it did start to rain at Talladega. And the race was called, and the leader at this time was the 23 of Bubba Wallace, his first career win at Talladega. So when you think about it, all three series had a brand new winner at Talladega this weekend. So the top ten here were Bubba Wallace, Brad Kulowski, Joey Logano, Kurt Busch, Christopher Bell, Chris Buescher, Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, Eric Jones, and Anthony Alfredo ran out top ten. Dean Epson's race, Ryan Priest was out for the accident along with Matt Benedetto and William Byron, also Alex Bowman. Tyler Reddick, and Justin Allgaier. Well, that's all for race recap. Come join us next weekend when we have the Xfinity Series concluding their round of 12 and the Cup Series also concluding their round of 12 from the Charlotte Rover, where I will be live.